Good morning, guys. Okay, so whether you are working from home or you are working in the classroom today, because I'm not there, you're all pretty much in the exact same boat. So let's go over today's assignment. It is the same for cohort A and cohort B. Today you are reading the red fox fur coat. If you have your student reader, that's excellent, and I want you to use that to annotate as you go through the story. If you don't have it, I have attached a link here to a Google Doc that has the story on it. The goal is to have this done um, for cohort A, I say by Thursday, because that's when we'll review. Um, cohort B, make sure you've got it done by Friday. I am hoping to be back on Thursday or Friday of this week. So let's begin. So whenever we have a story that we need to read, our first job is to open up the PowerPoint that goes with it, because this PowerPoint provides details within it that will help you understand the next steps to reading the story and answering any questions. So this is lesson 1.6, and it is about the telling details of transformation. So we are looking at the details that the author has added to indicate some type of change. Maybe it'll be an emotional change. Maybe it will be a physical change. If we look at our objectives or our goals for today, they are similar to what they have been this quarter. Read closely and analyze the short story. Identify textual details that reveal character changes and use subordinating conjunctions to create complex sentences. Notice, these skills aren't going away. We are building on them. So if you're still struggling to understand subordinating conjunctions, I need you to reach out to me so I can make sure that you have a strong foundation. So the first thing that I want you to do is to read just the first paragraph of the Red Fox for Coat. You can read it in your student reader or on the Google Doc that I provided, and you might choose to listen along here to the audio, but just make sure you still have the story in front of you so you know when to stop when that first paragraph is done. Then you're reading this prompt, and I want you to be annotating based on what the prompt asks you. It says to read that first paragraph and make note of all of the emotions the bank clerk experiences. Note that some of her emotions are directly stated and some are indirectly expressed. Again, at this point, you are strictly annotating the emotions that you notice. You can use a little uh, note section on the side to write them down. After you have read through this paragraph once, I want you to read it one more time. And now I want you to think about the emotions that you listed. For each emotion, I want you to find some telling detail that supports that that emotion exists. And you're gonna write them down under step two on this document. So you'll click here and make a copy. This is what you will see. Notice highlighted in hot pink in hopes that you won't miss it. Um, I tell you to set up your document in MLA format. Yes, this will count as part of your grade. So if you do not remember the format for the headers that you need, go back into your MLA notes and find it. Step two, just like I had mentioned, asks you to choose an emotion and then provide a telling detail that supports your observation. So if I were to say that the bank clerk was sad, here I would have a quote from the story in that first paragraph only that backs up what I'm saying. Then after my quote, of course, I'm going to make sure I have my in-text citation. List at least three. If you want to add more, go for it. Then return to our Google Slides presentation. Now it says to listen to or read the rest of the Red Fox for a code. Return to your Google Doc to answer the following questions under step three. So the questions that you see right here are also given to you on that document that we just had open. And it tells you that as you're reading the rest of the story, Keep out an eye for the telling details that indicate some type of physical change. Okay, so keep that in mind. So we're going to read and then we're going to go back to our document and step three says answer these questions. The main character begins the story as a humble bank clerk. What does she end the story as? Then it asks you where in the text did you figure out the transformation? When did it occur? 
Once you finish that section, return to your Google slide presentation. Now it asks you to respond to a few more, uh, more analytical questions, okay? So these questions right here are also listed right here. Now, you'll notice I highlighted something. There is a little bit of a catch with these responses. For these sentences, I am asking you to respond to each of them in the following format. When plus who does what plus where plus why. And I give you an example. So you can start each of your sentences this way. After reading, that shows us the when, the red fox fur coat, right? That's the who does what. The woman should be considered prey in the story because despite the fact that she was returning to her old self, it was an external force that seemed to control her. Okay, so there's my where and my why. So each of these three questions that you respond to should follow this format. Once again, if you're having a hard time, email me. Lastly, we return to our doc. It says to return to the question about the bank clerk being a predator or prey. Obviously, this will make more sense after you read the story. And it asks you to create a complex sentence that begins with although, which we know is a subordinating conjunction that indicates a contrast, okay? And you can use the sentence stem that has been provided for you. So I give you two different ways that you can start your sentence. When you know how you want to write your sentence, you're going to write it right down here, okay, at the bottom of your document. Then you are going to submit your document on Google Classroom, okay? So this will be due by 8 a.m. on Thursday morning. I'll give you all day Wednesday, which is Veterans Day, and you're off if you need some more time to complete it, okay? If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to ask me.